Welcome to Unit 17, Omniverse Nucleus Server Tips. Let's begin with an outline of the unit. In this short unit, we'll cover some enterprise Nucleus Server Tips that may be useful to an Omniverse system administrator. Let's examine the objectives for this unit. After completing this unit, you should be able to make use of Omniverse Enterprise Nucleus Server Tips designed to make your life as an Omniverse system administrator a bit easier. Let's get started. This tip centers around Docker and the pseudo prefix. As a common practice, you should not run as root user on a system. Instead, use a non-root user and use the pseudo prefix when running commands that require root level access. As a result, your interaction with both Docker and Docker Compose require you to use the pseudo prefix every time. You then need to supply the root password before the command runs. This can quickly become tedious when interacting with Docker and Docker Compose on a regular basis. Fortunately, there is a way to remove this requirement. You can add your user to the Docker group, which has root level authority. This removes the need to prefix Docker and Docker Compose commands with the sudo command. The example on the screen shows the commands you run to implement this change and how to validate that the change works. If you're searching for the data directory of the Nucleus Enterprise server stack, it's always configured via the data root variable of your Nucleus ENV file. By default, it'll be var lib omni subdirectory, where subdirectory is the specific microservice stack. For example, nucleus-data, nucleus-cache-data, etc. Knowing the location of your Omniverse data directory also aids in quickly locating service-specific logs for troubleshooting. The example on the slide shows obtaining the data root directory from the Nucleus ENV file, listing the contents of the directory, noting the microservice subdirectories, and viewing the log directory subdirectories for the various microservices. Now that you've completed this unit, you should be able to Make use of Omniverse Enterprise Nucleus Server Tips designed to make your life as an Omniverse System Administrator a bit easier. Let's review what's next on your Omniverse Enterprise deployment journey. Great progress! Don't stop now! Next up on your journey through the Omniverse Enterprise deployment section is the Omniverse Enterprise Nucleus Server SSL SSO Deployment Overview, which provides an overview of deploying Nucleus Server in an SSL or SSO environment. See you in the next unit.